Hey guys, Andy Thomas here from Wolf on the Run. Um, we've just installed the Givy racks and looking at the side there, I've seen the brake reservoir and I've also seen online that you can get a cover for them. Um, they're anything between $40 to $140 depending on where you get them from. Um, so we're going to try and make one today to cover it. Alright guys, so there's the reservoir. And um, yeah, apparently they just fixed through there. So we get a little cover that goes over the top. Some of them have got CRF written in here, some of them have got a cross. I'm going to try, I'm going to try, that word, try, I'm going to try and put my logo wolf inside it. Um, it's going to be a little bit of messing around, but we'll have a go. Um, I'll say that at the beginning of the video, whether it's there at the end of the vi video, I'm not sure. But we'll have a go. Alright guys, so again, I've took my measurements that I think I need. And this is the one I've just found on eBay. Um, so there it is, and it's got the cover up with a little X in. But where that X is, I'm going to try and do my Wolf on the Run logo. Alright, let's uh, just flick you through the images. That's what it's like. So it's just a box with a little tab on the side to hold on to. As I say, this one's $39, 38, yeah, $39. The Outrider one is about $120, so they do vary. Um, I've got this little bit of flashing that was left over from a job. It's um, a piece of polybond steel. It's about three quarters of a millimetre thick. And it's going to be pretty light. Um, but, yeah, I think that will protect it. It's just that little bit of extra. Um, and plus it's another project. Alright guys, so ironically, this piece that I've got lying around, I've just measured it and I want somewhere between 60 and 65 mil, and that is 65 mil. So <laughs> I've dropped so lucky with that. This part with the lip on this side, obviously that's a bit stronger, so that's the side I'm going to use for the bolt hole. This side I'll cut and bend in and flush over. I'll get marking out and I'll come back to you. Alright guys, so I've marked it all out. Um, my only little concern is the tab that I've got is only a little bit short. But um, I'll cut it all out and I'll try. Alright, so there's my start of it. I'll fold it all up, see how it goes. I've cut a couple of pieces of wood on the bandsaw. This one is the same width as inside there, and this one's going to go outside. So I'll clamp it in the vise at the right height, and that should get me uh, the bend that I need. So I'll put that on and try to trim it down, bear with me. That's basically it guys. Obviously I will clean it all up. But there we have almost done. A few seconds. Yeah, clean it all up, make sure it's fixed. I might even tack these together um, just so they've got no movement. Um, I've seen some of them are aluminium, some of them are stainless steel. This one's just a light piece of mild steel. Alright guys, so I've got the initial shape, what I want, I've tried it on the bike and it fits pretty well. So now it's going to put some of the patterning in and hopefully as I say, put that logo in there. There we go guys, it's more of a bloody Labrador than it is a wolf but yep, just a quick little project. Job done, cut the slots in the top and there's one in the side there just to diagonal thing just for a bit of take some weight out of it so that's it 
Just a quick, easy project. There you go, guys. Another simple turnaround. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.